What's up guys, it's Hamzaj56 here. Today I'll be telling you guys how to make a capture the fish game on Scratch 3.0. First you delete your original sprite, the cat sprite. And then you go to the title, call it Capture the Fish. And then first you go to the backdrops, go and choose the underwater one backdrop. You don't have to, but that's what I'm doing. Choose a sprite. You, you click the shark. This one. You delete the costume B. You go to the code of the shark. You go and start coding. One green flag clicked. Forever. You put it in if. Else, if, and if, and actually outside, you put it like that, put it in the forever loop, go to the setting, key, and then you put all the keys in there. This one is left arrow, the bottom is left arrow, third is right arrow. Second is down arrow, and the first is up arrow. And then you go to motion, of course. You go change X by 10 in right arrow, and you put change Y by 10 in up arrow. Then you go to change X by 10 in left arrow, but then you switch it to change X by minus 10. And you go this same thing, change Y. By 10, but then you switch it to minus 10. Oops. Then you get a new sprite called fish. You get the fish. And now that you've got the fish sprite, now you know how big the fish and shark need to be. Now, you, so you f switch the shark to 50. And then you the fish to of course 50. So now that the fish was he, is here, we could start the second part of the shark code. You do one green flag click forever if touching if uh, touching. Fish. Then you go here and then stop all. And then next, you after you got the stop all part, you go to the fish code. And now you thinking that we should put this in code, but no, you should do this. When we flat click. Forever glide one second to random position. Now that if we did the uh, same code for that we for the movement for the shark and the same move for the fish, then it will move together. And then we want to want to make it multiplayer, of course. Well, we should, but it's not gonna be fun because we can't do multiplayer. So then you go for shark. Now that you got that, now we want this. To go when the shark starts, you want it to go this place to the corner, the top left corner. Then you do the fish, do the same thing, but this time we're gonna get the go to block. You put zero, you put zero, and now when you click it, it's going now, it's going to this different place. Now, you just need to get it like that. Then you now that you've got this whole part down, we are gonna be almost done. We just if you want to, this is not necessary, but it's better. It's more fun and better if you do. You would we flag click forever, and then go to the motion. It's touching on edge bend bounce. 
So same thing here. When green flag clicked, you go for forever. You do now you just do you do if on edge then bounce. Oops, put in the forever loop. You go green green flag click. Your thing should be moving and then once it goes like that, it stops. And that's how you make uh capture the fish game odd scratch 3.0 thank you for watching make sure you subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye